Okay, welcome back. This is part three of my CAPTCHA tutorial. Um, and in the last video, we created our horizontal line, and we're displaying our image now. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to create our vertical line. Now, to create the vertical line, it's very similar to our horizontal. It's just changing a few things. Um, but I am going to um, just completely... Uh, whoa, oh, whoops. Uh, so, yeah. Um, so the first thing is the width width divided by 2. So that's going to set the x position of the first point to the very uh, width, uh, to the very middle of our image. Uh, we also want to do the exact same thing for the x position of our second point. Now the y position for our first point we want to set to 0 and the y position of our second point we want to set to our height. So if we refresh we now have a horizontal line going in the very middle. Um, and you might be thinking, what's the point of having lines? Um, and what that does is it makes it more difficult for various bots that people have made to try to read CAPTCHAs. It makes it way more difficult for those bots to read the CAPTCHA, if they can at all. Uh, so it's just, it makes it a little bit more secure. Um, so you can keep refreshing it. We have our uh, lines there always. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that again goes down a couple of lines and uh, uh, now what I'm going to do is we're going to create the uh, horizontal lines now the horizontal line for our, for our first one we're going to go from the top left corner right there to the bottom right corner down here so it's going to go through there right there uh, so the our X and Y position for our first point we just want to set to zero and zero and uh, <clears throat> the uh, y position, the x position for our uh, second point, we want to set to width, and the uh, y position we want to set to uh, height. So the x is width and the y is height. So if we refresh, we now have a horizontal line going through it, just like that. So I'm going to copy and paste that, and for our second image. Uh, our the x position of our uh, first point we want to set to the height so that'll be that'll put it in the bottom uh, bottom left corner and where you want to go up to the top right corner so we're gonna set it to the bottom left so down here so that's uh, that's x on or zero on the x and the y should be the height so so zero right there, and that should be height. Now the uh, x position of our uh, second point should be our width. So it's going to put it all the way on the other side of the image, and it's just going to set the height to zero. So if we refresh, you see we now have our lines going through it like that. Um, and you see that our text is lying on top of these lines. Uh, now that is because we're creating the lines first. We're creating the lines first, and then we're displaying our text. So if we change the order of that, so we display our text first, and we save and refresh, you can see that our text is now beneath the lines. Now, you may want this, you may not. You may want some lines beneath the text and some not. Um, but uh, it's personal preference. Um, but I prefer mine on top of the lines, so it, because it makes it a little bit easier to read. And everybody hates a captcha that they can't read because what's the point of it? Because then you can't actually do anything on that website. Um, so that actually that's creating the captcha. Um, so what we're going to do now is we are going to uh, start our session. Uh, we're going to come up here. And we already have our session start from earlier. So we're going to come to the very bottom after we destroy our image. And we're going to set a session value. So dollar sign underscore session. And our session name uh, is going to be uh, CAPTCHA underscore key. Uh, whoops, don't want that all caps. CAPTCHA underscore key. And we're going to set this equal to... Uh, sorry, our value. We're going to set that equal to our value. 
So whatever value is generated when we uh, when we create our image, that's the value that that's going to display right there. Um, so that's setting it in a session. Now in our index page, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a small form. Um, I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to create a small form that's just going to be enter CAPTCHA. Um, and all you're going to have to do is you're going to have to enter the CAPTCHA and then we'll run a check to see if it's it's right. Uh, so what that is going to show you is going to show you how to use this in your own forms. So I'll be back momentarily. Okay, so I'm back. Um, and you can see right here that I just created the uh, form and in a variable like I do in all my other videos and just echoed out the form. So if we refresh the page you see that we're not getting ooh it's because I can't spell um, so we're getting our text box here and then we're getting our image and then we have our uh, our submit button so uh, we're not getting our captcha yet so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set a variable and we're gonna call it captcha um, and we're gonna set it to equal to dollar sign underscore session and our brackets, and then inside of here is uh, CAPTCHA underscore key, or whatever you may be calling it. Uh, and before we do this, we need to start the session. So session underscore start. So we need to start the session. And then we're getting our CAPTCHA value. Um, so we're going to say if uh, dollar sign underscore post. Uh, and then in here, we're going to say button. Uh, so what we're doing is we're checking to make sure that our button for our form has been clicked. And if it has been clicked, we're going to do that. And if it hasn't been clicked, we're just going to echo the form. So if it has been clicked, we're going to run this block of code. But if it hasn't been clicked, we're just going to uh, to do that. Um, so inside of here, we're going to uh, user, or we're just going to put this to value because that's what I named it right here that's the name of the text field and so say value dash on underscore post uh, yeah and just like that and then we're going to whoops we're just going to echo out the value and then we're gonna put in a line break or we'll just put in a line and then we're gonna put it in the uh, captcha so, if we refresh, we have our picture right here, and let's put in the CAPTCHA, so 5516CF5D. So if I hit enter, so will submit it, so you can see right here that it has uh, generated a different value. Oh, uh, that's because we have this up here. So to fix this problem, what we're going to do is we're going to hit control X on our form and we're just going to echo it right there so we're just going to display our form uh, and the reason it, it was it changed the value is because um, every time the page reloads because our form is up here every time our page reloads it generates a new captcha so it's problematic so if we go back to our capture page, ooh, syntax error. Oh, that's why. Uh, so if we go back to our capture page, let's try this again. That's three nine zero six F five. I think that's an R. No, that's an F. Uh, oh. So we hit enter. You can see that it's still changing. Oh, it's not changing from that at all. Um, okay, so uh, in the next video, I will uh, show you how to fix this problem. So check out the next video.